course, some games to remember. 5-0 home win against Barnsley, 6-2 against Stoke, but it was inconsistent otherwise. Would it be fair to say there were off-the-field distractions as well? Well, I, I think there's always going to be off-the-field distractions, but no, no, no. The, the, the reason of inconsistency is because of youth and because of um, depths of squad. Now, in, in isolated games, we had Paul Dickoff on loan at the time when we came back magnificently against Stoke. It was a very fine performance, uh, from 2-0 down to 6-2. Um, against Barnsley, slightly fortuitous, they had a player sent off in that game too. Indeed, we never really got playing, I think, until probably come, come December. I think there was a turning point. It was a turning point of balance and fighting spirit. Uh, but basically, I began to get hold of a settled team. Now, it took a long while. Hopefully, in the coming season, we will get the pattern and the shape earlier. Looking at that cup run, it started on a Tuesday night in January. Paul Telfer scoring the winner against South End. There was a real... Uh, uh, an incentive to win that game in that the winners were away to Newcastle. Yes, the draw had already been made because of a postponement. Um, Paul Telfer scored an excellent goal. Paul Telfer was another of those who had an important season for us. He played for Scotland again at B level last season. He's an emerging chap. He's now got three seasons. You see, we look at Paul Telfer now and we see he's a regular. He's still very young. Um, but um, there was a lot of excitement, there was a lot of tingle about the cup performances, uh, night games, um, games where we pulled back big opposition here. But that was a crucial game, South End. South End were playing very well at the time, but they just lost their manager and there was a changeover and there was some upheaval there. But we'd begun to settle by the time we played South End and beat them. And then on to Newcastle and a debut goal for Tony Thorpe. Yeah, we decided to play. Hughes was suspended, I believe, and Tony Thorpe came in, and the reason he came in, because we knew that he had the capacity to snatch a goal. And um, I, there is real talent in, in Thorpe's boots, and if he matures and he's strong enough uh, mentally, then I think he could have a very good future in the game. His goal brought you back here to Kenilworth Road, and you beat Newcastle 2-0 in perhaps what was the best performance of the season? Possibly, yes. It was a good performance, and of course it was... Uh, one of several games that the club was projected on Sky Television, which, which is always nice, particularly when you win well. And uh, we got it about right that night. We kept Cole and Beardsley quiet, or as quiet as could be. And um, we played strong and we took our chances. And um, I think that Keegan was very magnanimous in, uh, in the loss and he was very supportive of us. And he said he hoped we went all the way to Wembley. The Cup campaign continued with a goalless quarter-final at West Ham to set up another replay at Kenilworth Road. But with good cup runs came good league form and Luton were looking relatively secure with games in hand. There was one moment in the season that stood out for you? Oh, so difficult. I think there was many good ones. Proud of our discipline at, at Newcastle. Um, thrilled with the result here. Um, uh, very relieved the night we beat West Brom, big night, because it's so important that if you're working hard with, with younger players that they don't go, in, they don't go into a level which, um, which they don't deserve. Uh, but they've got to go on now, they've got to take it on. There's lots of things we can improve. Um, it's not going to be an easy summer, the summer of 94, um, because we have one or two contractual areas that, that need to be sorted out in order to keep the right balance of experience and youth. Um, but all in all, I'm certain that the situation is much better now than it was previously when the financial handicaps were, were absolutely strangling. They'll never be easy. They will always be fighting, I think, against the tide. I don't see that turning dramatically unless we get full houses here and we, we try and drop the salaries down even more. We, c we can't do that. We have suffered for the 10 seasons or so in the, in the major league in the country um, because everything gets geared to that and um, to get out of that situation means that from time to time when players contracts expire like Alex Chamberlain's, John Dreyer's and there may be in the future others we, we have no option but to allow them to go and say thank you very much um, but um, I think we've got a far greater control over everything that is happening now than, than was happening because of the circumstances.